What's up YouTube, it's your old school expert and today I've got a booster pack battle with my boy Creed454. Now he reached out, he asked if I wanted to do a booster pack battle. We settled on doing it on these Crossroads of Chaos blister packs, which are really cool. I've never actually seen these. Um, so we're gonna open up six, I believe six each. His video is gonna be linked in the description. Be sure to check that out. And then guys, if you like his content, which I do, I'm a subscriber of his. Um, go ahead and subscribe, check out his videos. He's got great content, high quality. He's real chill, um, I'm, I'm a huge fan. So definitely check him out. But um, yeah, let's get going on this uh, blister pack battle and see what we can pull. This is all the way from 2008. Um, I think at least, I know they reprinted these, I think around like 2010. So there's, a, I guess there's a possibility with these. This says copyright 2008. So. There's a chance that this, these are third party blisters. So um, I would assume these are original packs, not from the reprints. I think those reprints came out in Walmart. Um, I remember I went to Walmart one day, this is crazy. This was like 20, maybe 2011. I think it was 2010, I'm not totally sure. Went to a Walmart and there was just a booster box of Crossroads of Chaos Unlimited Edition just there. And it was, you know, like 50 or 60 bucks or something like that. Obviously, I did not get it, and I regret not getting it, but um, yeah, it's just different times, I guess. Um, a whole booster box, like like a 24-pack booster box. It was the weirdest thing, and it had a, a price sticker on it and everything. So um, during that reprint of Crossroads of Chaos, I guess they did booster boxes and put them in retail stores like Walmart. That, was, ooh, that one opened easy. That was back in the day, like when um, I was trying to, like I was buying a lot of Duelist Revolution, trying to pull, like Duelist Revolution has so many cool chase cards, like the ultis, you know, the ulti effect veiler and um, pot of duality and stuff like that. So I was buying a lot of that, but wasn't really focused on Crossroads of Chaos, unfortunately. And I always kind of regretted that because there was a nice opportunity to get some of the uh, unlimited reprints for cheap. This stuff is not cheap anymore. Um, this is one of those sets where the first editions only came in the tins. Um, I believe this was the second 5D set ever, right? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but. So before we get into these, let's keep in mind how um, Black Rose Dragon was such a big deal to the meta. I mean, what an incredible card that was. Um, every single deck ran Black Rose Dragon um, in the, in the extra, or in the, um, yeah, the extra deck, sorry, almost called a side deck. Ooh, we got a little anti-theft device, nice, 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 okay. You know, that means it's gonna be a good pack, right? Because they would only put this um, if there's like a really badass foil, right? Like a Black Rose Dragon, okay, makes sense. So we got a Poison Chain, Horsey Tail, and these are kind of curved. Um, I've never thought, I could like, I've never considered this to be damaged or anything. A lot of people say, oh, that's damaged, you gotta bend them back or something. I don't think that's bad. It's just kind of naturally what happens, especially during some, like some heat. If, if these are stored in like a warm place, they'll kind of um, curve a little bit, but I've never had an issue with PSA grading curved cards. We got a Morphtronic uh, Monotron, and it looks like we've got a Synchro Monster. So I believe all, or at least most Synchro Monsters in this set are foils. So first pack, oh, it's a rare, okay. Psychic Life Transfer, I forgot that that's a rare, so. That's okay. A lot of Morphtronic stuff. Goes and Matches a really good card. That was meta for a while. Um, this is a good set. This set has so many good cards. Uh, a lot of cool plant stuff. Um, but obviously that Black Rose Dragon is like just the king. And I mean, Ghost Rare copies, at least the first edition ones, go for, I wanna say over a thousand bucks in uh, near mint condition. So we got a Morphtronic Magnon and a Miracle Fertilizer, the second pack. So with this set, um, with any 5D stuff, you'll get a foil and a rare in the same pack. They started doing that with 5Ds, didn't do it in uh, GX. We got Psychic Jumper Factory of a Thousand Machines. That's really cool. There's, there's Jinzo on the uh, cover or on the artwork of this card. That's really nice. I like that. Remove from play all Morphtronic monsters from your graveyard. Target face up machine type monster you're, you control. Gains 200 attack for each card removed. That's really not very good. I mean, it's not terrible, but because it's a quick play, so it's supposed to be used with Jinzo, I guess. 
We'll have Ivy Gadget Hauler and then a Storm Caller. So 0 for 3 on the first three packs. Not doing too good. Hopefully Creed 454 got some better pulls. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. There could be a Black Rose Dragon in these packs. All the way from 2008. So long ago. I actually wasn't even playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2008. I had quit in 2000. Uh, late 2006, I think, when Cybernetic Revolution came out, kind of like the end of the GOAT format. Um, I quit all the way through like 2010, 11. That's when I started up again. So, Power Injector, Morphtronic uh, Monotron, Psychic Jumper, Factory of a Thousand Machines again, Morphtronic uh, Boom Boxing, and ooh, look at that. Mark of the Rose. We got an Ultimate Rare. I think this is normally an Ultra in this set. Um, I'm not like s super familiar with this set. Like, I don't know it front to back, but I believe that's an ultra. So that's a really nice ulti. Look at how beautiful that is. I almost want to say this, it kind of looks like a Euro print, right guys? I'm not sure where these packs are printed. We can check. There's the other commons. So let's sleeve that up. Uh, in terms of value, I don't think it has a ton of value, but it is a really nice pull. Beautiful card, beautiful, beautiful card. All right, let's check these packs and see if it says where they're printed. Cause that kind of looks, Unless, like in some sets, like Rise of Destiny, they all have that like European foil. So maybe it's like that. Let's see. Does it say printed in the USA? Okay, so these are US cards. All right, pack number five. We did get a really nice pull, so Anything else is just kind of extra. That was a really, really cool pull. Giant Trap Hole. Activate only when two or more monsters are special summoned at the same time. Destroy all monsters on the field. Okay, that's kind of cool. Not terrible. I mean, it's a little bit situational, but it could definitely be useful. Zombie Mammoth, Poison Chain, and a Tiger Dragon. It's the rare. Copy plant. I'm not sure if any of the commons. So five D's is like notorious for having like the best commons um, in terms of like meta play. So I'm not sure if anything out of here, out of this set, really has any great commons. All right, last pack. Last pack. Can we get something epic? Oh, guys, we might have a foil in here. We might. Let's see, because they're all kind of bent. So, all right, we got a poison chain. Horsey Tail, Power Injector, Morphtronic Monotron, and a Tiger Dragon. Oh, we, guys, we've got we've got a Synchro Monster behind the rare. So I don't think there's any common synchros. This one threw us for a loop last time. This one threw us for a loop. I got fooled. I thought it was going to be a foil. All right, so let's do this kind of slow. Revival Gift. Morphtronic, Morphtronic Cameron. And is there one more? Yeah, there's one more. Don't want to do the, the Ruxin special. Sorry, Phil. I'm not trying to steal your stuff, but Bamboo Scrap. All right. And the final card in this entire opening is... It's not Black Rose Dragon. It's a Queen of Thorns. That's cool. We got a super rare. We will take that for sure. That actually wasn't too bad. Out of just six packs, we got an ulti and a super. That's pretty solid. So that is gonna do it for the um, for the opening, guys. Not bad, we got a Mark of the Rose, which is actually an equip card. I didn't even notice that. Um, you don't see that a lot, especially like 5Ds and beyond. You just don't see a whole lot of equips that are, you know, beyond being a, like a common. Um, and then a Queen of Thorns. So the, let's see, each player must pay 1,000 life points to normal summon or special summon a non-plant monster from their hand. It's kind of interesting. Good way to lock your opponent down if they're under 1,000. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's been a long time since I've opened any Crossroads of Chaos. This was really fun. Um, big shout out to Creed454 for hooking me up with these packs because uh, he definitely didn't have to do that. So I truly appreciate it. Make sure you check the link below. Check his video out. Should be the same thing. Um, or very similar and then let us know um, who had the better polls and of course if you enjoy his channel please subscribe check his stuff out um, again I really like it I'm I know I'm uh, 
advertising it here, but I, I truly do. He, he has a great channel, um, real laid back personality and everything. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you all enjoyed it and stay tuned for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh videos.